हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन टू जेनित अकेडमी ऑनलाइन माई नेम इज़ फातिमा बोरा एंड आई एम योर इंग्लिश टीचर फॉर टुडे टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ पोएम ऑफ आई सी एस ई क्लास टेंथ द हार्ट ऑफ अट ऑफ द ट्री बाय हेनरी काइलर बाना फर्स्ट वी टेक अ फ्यू पॉइंट्स अबाउट द पोएम एंड द पोएट हेनरी काइलर बाना वॉज एन अमेरिकन नोवलिस्ट जर्नलिस्ट एंड अ पोएट He describes in this poem the necessity and benefits of planting trees as we all are aware that tree plantation is a very important act tree is used as a symbol of act of kindness because planting one single tree has enormous benefits although written over a century ago it is very much relevant in today's time where we are moving ahead in development and urbanization along with industrialization where we have forgotten the importance of tree plantation let's move ahead to stanza 1 what does he plant who plants a tree the poem itself starts with a simple yet very important question the poet is asking that the person who plants a tree what does he plant it is a very casual question but very important so let's look what the poet describes he plants a friend of sun and sky here the tree is called the friend of sun and sky why first of all it is the friend of sun because it reduces the temperature of the environment also uh, it is a friend of sky as it uh, due to the process of transpiration tree uh, helps in the rain formation clouds formation for the receiver of rain he plants the flag of breezes free flag is a symbol used over here as flag flutters in the wind the tree leaves of the tree also flutters in the wind providing cool and tranquilizing breeze to the people the shaft of beauty towering high where shaft means the beam it is a beam of beauty towering high high because when a plant grows it grows tall 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 reaching the sky he plants a home to heaven anai anai means near to so when a person is planting a plant he plants a some a home which will once reach the sky towards heaven so it will be very much near the heaven for song and mother croon of a bird mother croon means the soft song that a mother bird sings to her young ones it is a very sweet and pleasant song which we can hear in hushed and happy twilight heard hushed means the light which is diminishing fading away twilight the light after sunset when the sky is still not very dark that is called as the twilight so the mother croon the bird song which we hear towards the end of the day the treble of heaven's harmony now this is important the meaning of word treble is a very high note in music if we know music we know the word treble means very high tone and harmony means silence peace so two opposite words two opposite ideas are used in the same sentence so the figure of speech is antithesis we'll come back to it the treble of heaven's harmony so here in when you plant a tree you are planting peace a very high note of peace and tranquility which is available only in heaven these things he plants who plants a tree so again the poet is saying that the person who plants a tree is planting the friend of a sun and sky the flag of breezes beauty home to a heaven birds home we all know that birds stay in uh, on a tree they make their nest and they flourish on only on trees so if we cut down trees they won't have any home so when we are planting tree we are planting so many things also we have seen one figure of speech over here and that is antithesis treble and harmony are two opposite words placed in the same sentence having two opposite ideas so it is the antithesis here we have learned some new words like anai which is near to 
mother croon which means the soft song of the mother bird which she sing, sings for her young ones now let's move ahead to stanza 2 what does he plant who plants a tree again for the emphasis of or for the effect of the poem the poet is asking the same question what does he plant who plant a tree what does he plant in the first paragraph we is, came to know about the natural things that we receive when we plant a tree here he says that he plants cool shade and tender rain we all know that when a tree flourishes it becomes big and provides shade to human beings birds animals everyone and tender rain because only tree is able to form clouds through the process of transpiration and attract rainfall and seed and bird of days to be so when you are planting a tree the tree already flourishes and it grows new seeds and new birds which in return will give you new plants new fruits new flowers and this process will go on and on for years to come and years that fade and flush again the same meaning as we saw that fade is going and flush is blooming all over again so planting one tree will give you lots and lots of trees for years to come he plants the glory of the plain plain is the plain area or surface of the earth when you plant a single tree on that surface it eventually grows and gives birth or regenerates new plants and new trees in that area so the plain which is a barren land glorifies due to plantation he plants the forest heritage your forest is called the heritage of mother nature as we all know that forest plants trees are all very important for our survival also the we get several benefits from the forest from the food to all the materialistic things with that we use in our life the harvest of coming age the poet over here says about the coming age the entire new generation that is yet to come all all of them can be benefited by planting one single tree the joy that unborn eyes shall see a very deep and detailed thought is mentioned over here that unborn eyes the eyes who have not yet born here eyes are the symbol of entire person or entire generation who is not yet born but when they come into the into existence on this mother nature they will be benefited by one act of kindness done by us that is planting trees these things he plants who plants a tree so again the answer of the question is given in the same paragraph itself that when we plant a tree we are doing an act of kindness not only for ourselves and our community but only for also for the generations that are yet to come and which nobody has foreseen yet but all will be benefited now let's move ahead to the last stanza of this poem what does he plant who plants a tree again the po poet asks the same question and this repetition is just for the emphasis to create the importance and awareness about tree plantation he plants in sap and leaf and wood so when you plant a tree you are getting several benefits we use sap for various industrial and household purposes we use the leaf for consumption as food and also wood for furniture and several uses of a single plant we have in our daily life in love of home and loyalty now when a person is planting a tree he has that love for his home for his uh, and neighborhood for his country for his family and the plantation the act which is doing of planting a tree is his loyalty towards mother earth and far cast thought of civic good civic means he is a good citizen he is taking care he is responsible about the civic amenities around him so he is his he has a far cast thought he is thinking about future and he wants to do a kind act today to have a good future for himself his kin kids and a generations to come his blessings on the neighborhood like we said in the first above sentence the his blessings now here as we note the h used over here is capital why because the man who is planting a tree is compared to god like god showers his blessings all over us 
the man who is planting a tree is in a way showering his blessings to his neighborhood and to mother earth who in the hollow of his hand again his is capital over here where god like properties are given to the man who is planting a tree holds all the growth of our land because when we plant one tree as we saw in the first stanza one tree gives uh, rise to an entire forest and glorifies the entire land so when the his hand when that person's hand goes for tree plantation his hand blesses the entire neighborhood a nation's growth from sea to sea only tree plantation is one act that can glorify your nation as well because we in india as we say that farmer farming is the most important occupation why because farmers provide us food similarly when we plant trees we are providing shelter food and also a better environment to survive stirs in his heart who plants a tree so what feelings are there in the person that he has a good feeling kindness humanity towards other people generations to come and also he has a good thought for the mother nature and environment he thinks of all of this and plants a tree not for his own good but the tree which will be used for further betterment of life and environment now let's see the recap of this poem the poem focuses on important of planting trees we all are aware and from since childhood we are given this uh, knowledge that trees are important and every tree is useful so here again the poem poet is also focusing on the same issue plants are embodiment embodiment means symbol of beauty we see we are uh, always to greet people with flowers bouquet of flowers why because they are beautiful various colors of flowers they represent our inner feelings for the person so the entire plant also is a symbol of beauty it beautifies our neighborhood and uh, also helps in uh, progress planting trees benefits us in several ways like providing cool breeze attracting rain clouds preventing soil erosion thus are a soil source of regeneration we have studied all these points in geography and science we know the process of photosynthesis transpiration water cycle all is possible only because of trees also if trees are not present our land will become barren because the roots of the trees they hold the soil and prevent soil erosion they enrich our forest and provide food to man and animals planting one single tree will give rise or regenerate entire forest which will be called as an heritage for earth and they will provide food to man animals and also provide shelter to many wild animals planting trees means serving the neighborhood we live in and thus protecting mother nature now this is an act of kindness as we saw before when we plant one single tree we are doing some good work for our society for the neighborhood for the area which we live in and indirectly it will always help our mother earth mother nature on which we are thriving planting trees make us responsible citizen and helps in the progress of country and mankind now when we plant one tree it has nothing to do with anybody else it is our own satisfaction it makes us a good person a good human being a responsible citizen for our country so we should always plant tree and help in the progress of nation and mankind the one who plants trees is always content in his heart and is overjoyed planting tree is like giving birth to a new life so when you plant one single tree you know that one day a few days a few months or a few years later this tree will bloom big and it will regenerate new plants new trees so you will always have a feeling of satisfaction and content in your heart i hope you have understood this poem very well and you will be able to write the entire theme and the uh, summary synopsis of this poem if you like our video please give it a thumbs up 
write the write in the comment section and share it with your friends stay tuned on zenith academy online for more videos all the best